In this presentation, we're going to enter the payroll data into the payroll register for the last month of the year, the last payroll period of the year, that being the month of December. We're going to enter the information into the payroll register and then put that into the earnings record. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Over on the right side uh, in the same presentation, a very ambitious uh, endeavor here, but I think we're going to do that a bit faster this time, so it will be doable in uh, the last month. We are going to try to use some shortcuts, put this information in there as quickly as possible and practice here not so much uh, what the payroll calculations are, but what we can do to kind of make the process a bit faster and learn a little bit more on Excel as we go. If we scroll up top, we can see that the panes are frozen. So to freeze the panes, you want to put your cursor right in the A4 cell if they're not frozen already, and then go to the view tab up top, go to the windows group and freeze panes, and then select the freeze panes uh, option. And then we'll go down to our payroll register. Now note, we're gonna basically say that uh, December is gonna be much the same as November, so we can get much of our information from November. So to do that, I'm gonna go up top. The, these two are gonna be, uh, these two columns, the filing status and the number of allowances will be much the same unless they change their payroll status on their W-4. So we'll highlight or select those, right click on them and copy them. Scroll back down and put that into our current month, that being the month of December in cell B33. Right click and paste, one, two, three. The hours, the regular hours, uh, that's gonna be the same too. So I'm gonna pick those up, we're gonna copy that gonna right click uh, the rate the rate will be the same as well so let's pick that up too that'll be great so we'll pick all that up we're gonna right click on that copy that's gonna be the regular hours and the regular rate scroll back down we're gonna put that on uh, d33 right click and paste one two three then we will calculate the regular pay because we want to practice that but then we'll copy that formula down learning the uh, the autofill and copy functions a bit better if we don't know those now. So I'm going to say equals. I'm going to use the keyboard as much as possible on this last one. Going left two times to the 163 hours, multiply times. Going to go left once. Note that uh, you're always going left. It'll start over like on on the cell you're calculating in. In other words, you're not going to go to this cell and then go right like you think you're already over there uh, after the multiplication time. So and then it's going to be enter. And then we're just going to copy those down. Uh, we could copy and paste the formula, or we can just drag this little autofill button. So you want to get your cursor on the fill handle so it looks not like that, but like that. Not like that, but like that. And then left click on it. Uh, and you could double click on it like that. I was going to drag it down, but double clicking will work as well. And uh, there's nothing here, of course, because there's, there's no calculation for um, the salary. So we're just going to put here the 35,000, which is her salary, and that'll be this cell. I'm going to format paint it. I'm going to put my cursor here, format paint. I'm not sure what happened with formatting there. And there we have that. Okay, so now the hours are going to be the same. So the overtime hours, I'm just going to copy the overtime hours for the prior period of November. Right click and copy. We're going to bring that down to the current period of December. Right click and paste, one, two, three. We'll calculate the overtime rate and copy that down as well. So the overtime rate, once again, will be equal to the 25, in this case, regular rate, times time and a half or 1.5 or 150% and enter. Then we're gonna put our cursor on that cell. We could double click on it again, or I'm just gonna drag it down this time as I intended last time. 
just two cells we're just going to drag it down two cells that's auto fill auto drives it down dr phil does the calculations and there we have it now you note that excel if you double click on any of these cells will then have put the relative reference down meaning it went to the next cell down to do the same calculation which is typically what you want in an excel sheet but something that may not be natural when you first start using excel and something we need to get used to so then we're going to say that the pay overtime pay will be equal to in i33 the overtime hours times the overtime rate giving us the overtime pay then we're going to copy that down in a similar fashion using the autofill by selecting the cell selecting the fill handle dragging down and once again we can see that uh, the relative references have moved down that's the uh, niceness of excel Okay, so now we're going to do the total pay. The total pay will equal the regular pay and the overtime pay. The calculation will be equals. Scroll into the regular pay in cell F or column F plus. Going left one time to column I and enter. Once again, we'll auto fill that down. So we're just going to put our cursor on the fill handle. Once we're on the cell, drag that down all the way down this time to Judy's $35,000 salary for the month of uh, December, not bad. And then we're gonna go to the uh, wages. So we got the OASTI wages, which has this cap here. We're not too worried about these first three employees hitting that cap. It's only big Judy here that's gonna be over that cap most likely. So we can just say for these three, this equals the same uh, amount and we're going to auto fill that down with the fill handle dragging down to the other two employees then judy we're going to check her um in payment record because although this number is under the 128400 she may be over that number for the year to date which is what we're looking for so we're going to go over here to the earnings record looking for judy and judy is indeed over that amount so you, you can see that she's already capped out the OASDI of 128400 for the year. Therefore, her uh, Social Security wages or uh, OASDI FICA wages uh, will be zero. So zero for that. And then uh, FUTA, I believe they've all hit the cap for FUTA and SUTA. We can just double check that if we go to the earnings records for these all these individuals. Because it's the final pay period, it's most likely that unless we have new employees, which could be the case and is something that you always have to check, which is kind of a pain. Uh, so that you can see that these have obviously Judy's over the cap here, uh, over the cap for this employee. <laughs> all the employees, we don't need the name right now. The name's a little to the left, but uh, we can see they're all over the cap. So no FUTA, no SUTA for any employee. So we're gonna scroll back down for the last uh, pay period. That'll make things a little bit easier, a little bit faster for our ambitious goal for this, uh, this one. So we're gonna say zeros and zeros, and I could highlight those two and auto fill the zero down, and it'll put the zero down. Then we'll do the OASDI calculation in cell N33 with an equals and going to the OASDI wages. Make sure you're picking up OASDI and not the total earnings. It does make a difference this time. Not for this employee, but it will once we fill it down to Judy. So we're going to enter, then put our cursor on that once again and select the autofill. And I like to, I like to drag it down rather than double clicking on it at first, unless there's a lot of data. So I'm just going to drag it down and there we have it. So note difference here. So this is important <laughs> that, that uh, we use the correct column uh, at this point because of course Judy uh, has a different OASDI wage than her normal wage. Then the HI, we're gonna do a similar calculation. However, it'll be equals the total earnings, not the OASDI earnings because there is no cap times 0.0145 and enter. Then we'll auto fill that down, selecting the fill handle and dragging down. Then the FIT, we're gonna pull that from the prior pay period because the pay periods are gonna be the same and therefore the calculation for federal income tax or FIT will too be the same. So we're just gonna say that equals the prior period. Then I'm gonna auto fill that down. We're gonna select that auto fill and fill that down. And there we have it. And it looks just like this column now. So it looks like it filled correctly. 
I noticed that the moving of the cells as we fill it down with the formulas just got to get used to how that will work and you'll note that uh, it's the best way to work it's great that it it's able to see the relative references which is usually what we want now I'm going to do the um, group insurance which is going to be the same as the prior period and instead of hitting enter I'm going to select tab because I'm going to do the same thing for the union and the and the 401k so I want to go to the left to the right instead of down when I hit uh, tab so there's next cell union dues equals and the reason I'm going to do this is that because then I'm going to highlight all three cells and auto fill it down at the same time, which is going to be very exciting and uh, great to do. So we're going to say tab and then the 401k equals the same as the prior period and now enter or tab wouldn't matter. But now I'm going to highlight these three and we can auto fill those down by selecting the fill handle and dragging down and that should populate and look the same as up here it did of course enter the two zeros that's okay and then we're going to calculate the net pay so the net pay in cell t33 will be equal to we're going to scroll all the way to the total earnings so here's the total earnings minus the sum i'm going to say shift nine left once there's that and then hold down shift left 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 note if you go too far then you can just go back right one and then shift zero and enter then we can auto fill that down so we're going to put our cursor on uh, this cell on t33 fill handle drag it down auto drives it down dr phil does the calculations and there we have uh, the net pay now at this point in time you're probably saying something looks very funny with the net pay and uh, you probably noticed that there was an error back here in the OASDI calculation where we just I just picked up the the, <laughs> the OASDI wages, which is the correct column, but did not multiply times the rate, which is 0 0.062. So let's correct that now. We're going to go back over here. We're going to double click and we're going to say times 0 0.062. Now we can auto fill that down. We don't have to delete these, but you can just auto fill it and it'll just overwrite it. So I'm going to put my cursor on the fill handle and drag it down. So that was intentional correction of um, a problem and uh, you can see how that works. All right. So then we've got uh, the net pay looks good and it should basically be the same as the prior period because it's the same numbers. So we look good there. Now we're going to calculate the OASDI. What I'm going to do now is we'll calculate this one, then the Medicare, then the FUTA, then the SUTA, and then we'll drag them all down. So we're going to calculate OASDI. We've already seen it in the employee side. Now we're doing the employer side, which looks much the same. Scrolling over to the Social Security wages and then saying times 0 0.062, then selecting tab. Now we're in HI where we'll say equals and we'll go over to the total wages times 0 0.0145 tab. Then we're in FUTA where we'll say equals and scroll over to the FUTA wages times 0 0.006 tab. Then we're in SUTA where we will say equals and scroll over to the SUTA wages and say times 0 0.054 and enter okay so now we just need to i'm going to highlight these four cells we're going to select or I should say select those four cells and then we're going to auto fill those uh, four columns down so we'll select the fill handle scroll down auto drives it down dr phil does the calculations and we have completed the earnings record for the last pay period the final month of november now we're going to take this data and we're going to reformat it note that this is in format of boat first pay period and then employee we want to then format it in the earnings record by employee and then pay period so to do that i'm going to scroll back over and we're going to make the i'm going to make this one green once again so we can kind of do it with our with almost an, almost in a brain dead fashion because we just we're just going to look for the green cells we're going to be on the green cells so I'm going to highlight all of those and we're going to right click this set of data, go to the uh, paint uh, bucket, the bucket of paint here, and we'll make that light green. So now when we, when we put this in our earnings record, 
we'll have the light green over there. So now we'll scroll all the way up to the top and we're going for Anthony. We're going for the month of December, last month of the year for Anthony in cell uh, AB8. I'm going to say equals for the filing status. We're going to scroll down to those green data, looking for the green data. Green data, Anthony Moore, and we're just going to put equals or enter, I should say enter. And so that cell we're just saying is equal to B33, B33. Now we're not going to autofill it across. We could, but it would autofill not only the, um, the formulas, but also the uh, format of the cell, which we don't want to do. That's why we have to right click and copy the cell and then highlight all the data to the right of it or the non-data, the blank cells that don't yet have data. And then right click and paste the formulas only, formulas only, just the formulas. And that gives us, of course, uh, the, the detail. The reason we're doing this is that we can then give uh, the gross check as well as all the stuff that we took from these employees out of their gross check for their own good. Uh, supposedly and then gave them the net check we can see that for the individual pay period as well as the year-to-date numbers now we're going to do this for uh, the next employee and then we'll do that for the next employee and then the next one so cindy lewis so within cell a b 15 we're going to say equals i'm going to go all the way to the left and then i'm going to scroll down looking for that green data looking for the green data so there it is cindy lewis we're in cell b 34 we're going to say enter then we're just going to pick up that M once again and copy it to the right. So I'm going to right click and copy. Put our cursor to the right into the blank data. We're going to select the blank data in the blue area. Right click and paste it. Uh, formulas only. Formulas only. It doesn't sound as nice as um, one, two, three, but formulas only. All right, so now we're on this cell in A, B, 22 we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna say equals scroll to the left scroll down we're looking for the green data this time for uh, Jill there's Jill Jill's filing status we're gonna say enter scroll back up and then we're just gonna pick up that filing status by right clicking on it copying it putting our cell to the right of it and selecting the uh, the cells to the right and then right click and paste formulas only yeah. And then we're going to scroll back down and we'll do this one last time for the big earner, Judy Jones. So we're in uh, AB uh, 29 equals. We're going to scroll to the left, scroll back down, looking for the green data, looking for the green data. There's Judy Jones, last M, last filing status and enter. Then we're going to scroll back up just a bit. We're going to pick up that M. We're going to right click on it and copy and then select the data to the right of the M and uh, right click and paste formulas only. Okay, so there's our information. Now we can see if we scroll down, we got the green zeros. Remember that that is our indication that the total earnings over here, the net pay is equivalent to uh, the total earnings for the year on the payroll register. But let's double check it uh, one more time this way as well. We're going to say 141.976. Now, by the way, this is kind of like the lazy way to check it. We should check each number, but the net check obviously takes into account, you know, all these numbers from the gross check to the net check. So if we're going to check one number, it should be this one. So it's 141.976.23. We're going to scroll to the right, scroll down and see if we can find that same number on the net check. 141.976.23.